Hey, what's up guys? So, um, <clears throat> today I'm going to make a video about uh, uh, an unpacking uh, of my new uh, biker gear or my biker apparel. Um, it's been uh, like two years already since i you know bought anything um for uh, a protective gear for my you know uh riding so um first i've got this old jeans i've got i bought two from amazon so by the way um i'm not i didn't uh from the past i didn't buy uh, the most expensive ones because you know due to budgetary constraints these are just like some of them are on sale and some are from amazon which are you know um pretty entry entry level stuff so <clears throat> this one i bought from amazon australia so um, i got two of these ones so it's a little bit pretty warm on the um, uh, protect protected me from uh, you know the cold weather here in Melbourne during the winters when I was riding uh, previously, and also my old uh, Ixon um, jacket, uh, which would be having its first wash um, after two years of use. And it still looks. New though it's not faded, you know. Um, yeah, it's got this very you know high quality protective ones, which was an add-on. But anyway, let's go to the unpacking of um, the my new rider apparel, which comes from uh, Gen Gentry Gen Gentry's Choice. Um, website and they also are selling at eBay here in Australia so here it goes I already opened it pre-opened it but I haven't you know removed anything so first I bought a glove a pair of gloves which I'm ready to um, setting up for winter because I have that other glove which I've been using for a long time, which was the uh, um, Dry Rider Air Ride, which is a pretty good one, but it doesn't offer me too much protection during the cold winter here in uh, uh, the Melbourne suburbs. So this one is a longer one, my first one, first long. Um, leather um, glove the other one was a short one so the name of this is a gentry choice Gen genuine leather act leather so anyone living here in australia you have the gentry choice dot com dot au it's pretty it's called a Leather glove gloves long winner winner yeah it's a pretty nice one see the it's pretty well made and we got straps in here the velcro one. Other hand is holding the camera. Let me see how it goes. Um, yeah, pretty snug fit with my medium build. 
and then you lock this one up. Let me see. I'm gonna hold my foot in here. Um, let me it first, okay? So here, it's pretty nice fit. It looks very, um, you know, really, really look good aesthetically, and I believe it will protect me from the winter. Um, the coldest one I've been riding, although you know it differs from place to place, but here particularly it's around three degrees I think or two. Plus the wind, you know, the wind chill. So I prefer to ride a motorbike than riding a car. Uh, previously, I rode uh, small, smaller ones. As compared to now, which I was, I'm riding a um, little bit larger than the ones I've been. Now it's a 650. Before it was um, a 200 and a 360 or a 400 cc bike. Yeah, so that's it. So next one is, oh, we got paddings. This one is for the back of the, uh, the jacket. And this one is for the um, elbow of the jacket. And this one is, I believe, is for the uh, shoulder, I reckon. It's for the shoulder. Plus, we've got another one in here. This one is for the pants. Um, the knee pads and... The hip pad so let's separate the two here and then here we've got the rider act I bought all of them from the gentry choice uh, website which is uh, the brand name for the um, the jeans and the jackets are rider act so we open the jeans first. So this is a bestseller. Luckily, I went to the website uh, before. I always check out at the um, e at eBay, but uh, I soon discovered that they have also a website. In eBay, they, you don't find the size thirty-two, which is my size. I am medium medium built. So they, these are not. It's around a hundred. Um, Australian dollars, which is pretty competitive and not that expensive, you know. As compared to this other one, which I bought uh, previous uh, two years ago, which was around 80 Australian dollars each or less, but it still also has like a protective gear, uh, I mean, protective um, uh, layers. I don't know which uh, which material this, but they, they say in the advertisement it was Kevlar or something. But you know it, it, uh, you know, uh, I made full use of this. But anyway, let's go back to the Rider Act um, jeans. So here it goes. It's I bought the color black. So to riders in Australia, this is, you know, you hear often the, um, in Facebook, uh, it adverts pop out from Gentry Choice or Rider Act gears. You would see this often. And uh, what do you call this? Uh, CE armors inside. The CE mean uh, European community, I don't know. Aramid inside. Let's take a closer look. So Gentry Choice Australia. 
www.ipsyclopedia.com.au So for those of you wondering my accent, I'm uh, Filipino-Australian and uh, I have this, this distinct um, fellow, that's what they call us here, fellow uh, accent. <laughs> So Rider Act by gentrychoice.com.au yeah. And it has got some you know, layers to protect you. I think it's pretty tough. This is where you ins insert the, uh, the pads. Here, insert the pads in here. It's, um, here. It's pretty, uh, uh, you know, easy to put it in. It's not like very technical. You just insert it in uh, this pouch over here. There's a pouch, as you can see here. Even a high, an ele elementary kid can do it. And here inside, it's a uh, also. Um, uh, from the bottom, there is a uh, there is a bottom pouch. So I flip it up, and how you put it is something like uh, let me see something like that. You insert it. You insert it from here from the bottom. So there is this pouch over here with a velcro. Um, velcro tape in here it's pretty easy to do it yeah so I don't need to show everyone else um. yeah you just insert it in there but you have to fold it a little bit so let me see <coughs> I'll show you guys do a balancing act here. Bring it in, in turn, please. Pretty easy and straightforward. So let me see. Or you have to flip the entire jeans, yeah. Flip the entire jeans so that you can but this one make life easier. Just do it now. Yeah, just wiggle it inside and something like that, you know. Just have to do a little bit wiggling and to fit it in. That's right. You know what I mean? So, I'll leave it up to you if you plan to purchase one of these jeans. Yeah, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. So, again, it's a little bit um, too much movement here. So, I'm just gonna get a closer view of the jeans. So, you got some rivets in here. Strong points, pretty well made with a YKK um, zipper, which is durable. Yep, nicely made jeans. I'll be wearing this for several years, I reckon. Pretty nice faded design, pretty, pretty well soon. And at the back, yeah, we've got some. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, this design for us stretch, uh, the stretch the jeans. You know, this is very comfortable for riding. Designed really for riding. You know, pretty good materials. Good design and bang for the buck. This is around um, 109 
Australian dollars, which is, I don't know what the equivalent to the United States, but lesser, you know. So the Rider Act brand. Yep. So <clears throat> we're already finished with this. So uh, next is the uh, is the good stuff which is also not that very expensive I think they source this one from uh, somewhere uh, in South Asia <laughs> who are pretty well known for doing leather stuff boots that's why it's a little bit cheaper but I'm not I'm good with that um, I'm not too choosy or whatever so I chose the vintage style vintage look um, jacket as you can see it's really and for me choose this one because I love uh, vintage stuff you know all classic stuff like what I have now um, uh, one of the best uh, choice that I've made is to purchase a second hand V-Star 650 a classic one which looks like a you know at first glance like an old Harley <laughs> you know, what you read in a the books in the old magazines before so when I was a kid so this one is like you know uh, a vintage a vintage uh, look leather jacket so this will be good for the winter when I'm going to ride for work most of the time I ride a motorbike because you know uh, <clears throat> Uh, it's easier for me to filter and you know go to work and go home earlier than riding my car which is a hassle for me you know I don't want to waste time you know every hour time is cold and you know anyway back to the uh, uh, the unpacking <laughs> I mean it's already unpacked this is the Rider Act. Your safety, our mission. This is the Gentry Choice brand with an original YKK zip. So YKK is a very famous one since, you know, how many years, decades. It's been uh, reliable for most gene makers and whatnot. So this is how to take care of your leatherwear. Always keep on a hanger when wet, allow to dry naturally. When sold, use appropriate proprietary leather cleaner of purpose paid cleaning pad. When cleaning is required, send to cleaner specialist in leatherware, Swede, Swede le leather with soft nap surface, brush gently after wear with soft bristle. Uh, only for suede leather jackets this one is a green leather so with smooth surface keep clean by occasional use of damp sponge followed by dry cloth yeah so where do we start first we start with a here at the uh, what do you call this a color so when i saw it in the drawing there in the early choice it doesn't have like this so it was just like this design without any button uh, see, it's made really of leather. So, this is my second leather that I purchased. I purchased one leather when I was a young uh, sailor back then in the merchant uh, marine, merchant uh, fleet of the world in container ships. So, 
I bought one in the United States when I was uh, back in uh, 2006, I think, or 2003, in New York. And this one is my second leather jacket. That one is uh, not a biker, but this one is. So let's check first here. Yeah. So this is YKK. YKK jet. Oh. Yeah. YKK. So you put all the stuff in here, your sunglasses. Your key. So here doesn't have a button. Uh, I mean the, uh, a zipper. So this is a uh, Additional lock here to tighten up the bottom area. So this one didn't have, doesn't have a zip to the um, sleeve. So this one has and has a button lock. I like the design. It's pretty affordable and not too expensive, you know. I mean, some of us are living on a budget, but so you know we can enjoy um, our riding career by you know buying not the most expensive stuff, but you know good, uh, affordable, durable um, uh, rider apparel. You don't need to, have to buy the expensive ones, but you have to choose wisely which to buy or which to purchase. Because we have, uh, some of us have families and, uh, you know, we need to pay for the mortgages, the bills and whatnot. So we have to squeeze in some of our, you know, uh, how do you call that? Affections in life. <laughs> Not to, you know, um, drain the uh, family budget. This one here, the back portion of the jacket. So, this is the back view. Oh, get the elbow. It's pretty distressed. I love the the vintage distressed look. It looks like a, a very old jacket and it makes a classy look, you know, when you ride. <coughs> look like a you know a biker from the nineteen uh, I don't know sixties, seventies. And I love that. I appreciate uh, the old stuff, you know. So it's like the analog, you know, um, like I got a home homage watch here, uh, just uh, looks like a, you know, like a <laughs> submariner, but it's actually a homage watch. So I like all this stuff, you know, uh, with matching and auto strap, the British uh, designed, uh, how do you call it, 1960s or 70s, uh, military era type uh, design so anything vintage is really good it's classy and whatnot and full grain leather you know it really smells uh, <laughs> leather so I might offend some of the people there who are uh, how they call it vegans but yeah, uh, this is how the world works, you know. Thousands of years, people were using uh, leather. So let's go and flip it back again, and so uh, I've already showed you before the uh, 
the padding so this one is you know uh, it can you know help a bit but in really you know i mean we're just riding chill we, we're not like right i'm not riding like a crazy person so so uh this one would you know do the job unless you know someone crazy uh cage would ram you at the you know but you know god forbid so this one you put it in the back so this is your back protector but as compared to here that's why i put out the my old ixon one it's just a good high quality one because i bought this separately it has a good like padding material which is thicker than this cheaper um this uh, gentry choice padding which is like uh you know the ones you, uh, they used in the um kids play pen and this one is made from uh, better materials you know like a beehive and the paddings of this are also good quality i bought this one also on sale but this is a good high quality french um owned and designed uh, jacket which i've been using for several years uh, it would need a wash after all those years so this one you put it in this manner because i'm going to put it in one hand but so i'll switch it off and then show you back again so here it is so here it is i squeezed it through uh, i mean i folded it so that it would squeeze in because this is one is a little bit narrow so it's already in and all you have to do is zip it and this one here I mean it's the same uh, you can let me see you got a shoulder here this is for the shoulder and it's pretty uh easy to do it huh? no, no need to be te technical you can figure it out so i leave it that the guys who want to purchase one of these you know but mostly the same basically the same you know um see as with other jackets because it's standardized you know it's a standard some of them are like european standard ce european community standard which is pretty straightforward and easy to comprehend you know so anyway that's it so guys so uh, um i'm wearing now the the jacket with and the pants and the gloves with matching helmet and um you know my bandana for wind protection and the dust and the bugs which are prevalent from which where i am riding although it's your preference to um not to wear a bandana you look like a gangster with this but some people commented you know from my workplace they say, hey, you look like a gangster actually it serves a purpose you know so here's the gloves mm -hmm. what should i show you the the boots i mean in my other videos from the previous years i have give me my boots and uh, my motor ride series so first we just have to put it 
on the strap here. It's pretty warm inside now here. <laughs> so this one. And then just put it on like that. Pretty sure. Yep. And then lock it up. It's gonna be warm for sure. I think this is a waterproof. Could withstand a little bit of rain. Riding my V-Star. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it. I like the fashion. Yeah, the biker look. Boots. I right, show it there. Yeah, I got my dry rider boots, which I bought like two years ago, which I keep on using almost every day when I, while I'm riding. Yeah, and just this helmet I just bought recently. I was using uh, the uh, AVGV, which was my old one, but this one is much more convenient, and I can. You know, um, breathe, no fog. Because I'm using the uh, pilot during the night, the, you know, the pilot um, aviation um, uh, goggles, which I bought from eBay. Again, uh, all budget. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, if you like the look, just comment below. So, this is not uh, pretentious or whatever. This is how I what my look to be and you no know, wannabe style this is what I wear that's it okay guys ciao ciao